We don't know where the chips will fall, but we are ready to accept and let the chips fall where they may in such a transparent and an independent investigation. So I will bring to you Senator Mike Gravel, one of America's true patriots. Look at the people that are anti-casino uh, gambling over there. I'm going to prepare to give you an endorsement. Move some cameras over here, and I'll give you something on record they will help you. But the reason why I'm here, very categorically, is that we need to bring about change in this country. And how are we going to do it? You know, we've been trying and trying. We need to be able to shock the American people into questioning authority. And how best to do that is to reveal the conspiracies and the crimes that happened against the American people and the peoples of the world by the events of 9-11. That's what we can do. Now the device to do this, the device to do this is not the government. Hey, a and &E Truth, which has been lobbying the federal government for several years, giving, providing data. They can't even get a rise out of the Congress. Congress is not going to touch it with a 10-foot pole. Right. And so we have to realize that, that if the government's going to do it, we are fortunate in this country to have an alternative. And that alternative is in the 24 states that can make laws by initiative. By initiative, the people initiating a law and then presenting it to the rest of the constituency for their vote. What we're doing with the 9-11 truth is very simple. We are asking the people of Massachusetts to step up to the ballot box on November 6, 2012 and vote to enact a new Citizens Investigation Commission that will pursue the truth wherever it leads and will develop the criminality, whoever is involved. That's, right. that's, the, that's the guarantee of this, what will happen. Now, here's, here's the real facts of what has to happen. We need to get signatures from citizens in Massachusetts on the ballot in the numbers of anywhere from 70 to 80,000 by November 23rd. That's a tall order. We need money to do that, and, and the math is real simple. It's $2 to $3 a signature, and it has to be done professionally and probably Oh, we'll have volunteers who'll be helping, but by and large, the major brunt of it is going to be a professional effort. And so I'm calling upon you, I'm begging you, that if within the sound of my voice, you can put up any economic wherewithal, any resources to help make this happen in Massachusetts, you are making it happen in the nation and in the world. That, it's that big an issue. The 9-11 truth movement is worldwide. There's a poll recently in the spring where 89% of people in Germany do not believe the government of the United States. They think it was a false flag operation. Well, if Europeans, and that's not just in Germany, that's the prevalence, Europeans and foreigners have a greater sense of what's wrong in this country than we Americans do. And that's why we have to wake up these Americans in that regard. So I'm counting on you, I'm counting on you to step forward, get your friends, go to a website, 9-11cc.org. There you'll have all the information about the work that's been done by the movement. There you'll have an opportunity to go ahead and contribute. There you'll have an opportunity with enough information to have coffee clutches in your neighborhood informing people about that. Now before I leave the podium, I just want to say to the people uh, with respect to casino gambling, I personally, got nothing to do with this issue, but I personally endorse the, the task that they've undertaken for the very simple reason that gambling is a great way for the elites to reach into the pocket of the ordinary working person and pull out their paycheck and, and do what they've been doing all along. That's and that is, and that's the reason why 
Our disparity between the rich and the poor is so extreme today, and that is the demise of our democracy. Unless we can breach that area, we just will not be able to do it. So let me go back to the real reason uh, why we're here and what we're attempting. Massachusetts, the cradle of liberty, is the flagship of this national undertaking that will go to Colorado, it'll go to uh, Arizona, it will go to California, it'll go to, uh, to uh, Oregon and Alaska. But this is where it begins. This is where the rubber hits the road. And so your responsibility as Massachusetts citizens, and I can say that it's your responsibility because I was born and raised in Massachusetts. And so it's the task and the challenge is yours. We cannot fail. This is the best venue in the entire United States and in the entire world to get going with a new investigation that will lead to truth and it will lead to inform the American people that don't trust your government. Thank you very much. And so exercising my power as a former Speaker of the House in Alaska, I adjourn these proceedings sine die.